got Jack, another new golfer on the channel, who you might have seen when we did a lesson last week on his free wood, where you know you were standing up out your shot, weren't you? So yeah, as yeah. you were, were coming down into the ball, you were lifting your hips up and you catch yeah. the top of the ball. So it's the first time I'll have actually been out and, and seen Jack play, you know, golf to have a look where your weaknesses are. Yeah. But we're gonna have a few holes with Jack today and hopefully for you sort of newer and higher handicap golfers, you might be able to learn something today. Do you wanna get us teed off? Good strike. So we're opening up on a par five here, Jack. You've hit a good drive. Yeah, you know, we're not good. we're not in our fairway though, so we might have to play a bit of a recovery shot here to get back in play. But uh, it looks like you can hit that driver quite a long way, doesn't it? Yeah. Just getting it in my direction. Just getting it in the right direction. Well, I think there's a lot of people <laughs> who struggle with that one. So just stop there, Jack, before you go to your ball, and I want you to have a look down that fairway where your ball's going to be landing once you've hit it. What we got down there? Two bunkers. We've got at two side. bunkers, and do you know how far they are, approximately? Probably about 80 yards. 80 yards, right? Keep that in your mind then for when we play that approach shot, because what we don't want to do is, you know, try and get back in play and end up putting it into a bunker. We've either got to go over them, or we've got to lay up short, but uh, we'll make that decision in a minute. So, how confident are you getting over them trees? Not, not very confident. Not very confident. Well, could we go out sideways? You know, could we go we'll take your medicine? Yeah. yeah, take your medicine. I think you, I think you play out to the side there. And you're long enough to get to that green in two. Yeah. So we'll go and and what what you don't want to be what you don't want to do here, sorry, is be too greedy. If you're gonna play out left to them trees, play out left a good 10, 15 yards left. I see so many people get so tight and then, it, you know, you, you end up overhang, hitting overhanging trees yeah. here. So if you're going to play out safe, play out safe. And you've got a mat here that you can use to your advantage to actually line up. And that mat's lying bang smack at that tree. So realign it, realign it. Let's do this properly. Obviously, this is ad ad advantage of winter golf in the UK. And, uh, you know, I hope you higher handicappers and mid handicappers are paying attention to this. So, okay, let's make sure you get past this tree. Yeah. Well done. Now, that's taking your medicine and getting yourself back in play. You've opened everything up now. That's fantastic. With just a little bit of thought. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tag that video. Right, we're going to see if his free wood's working. See if he's done what he's been taught to do. No, <laughs> is the answer to that one. So Jack's put himself in trouble. He has had a look at the flag. The flag's just over here. And uh, he's sat all right. Just make sure you brush the surface, Jack. Good strike, well done. So we're just on a temporary green here. Uh, how far would you say you've got? Probably about 30, 40 yards. So what sort of swing are you going to do? Let's demonstrate your swing. Probably about to there. About to there. What club have you got? Approach wedge. Approach wedge, all right then. So think about your distance, have a look at where you're going. Well done. That's a great shot, fantastic. Let's see if we get two puts and move on from there. Right, you've got a bucket all here. I don't know if you have these, you know, all around world, but it wins sometimes we have quite big holes. So get a bit of confidence for that, be hungry. I, I reckon you could hold that. Yeah. Make sure you get the weight, give it a chance. And look here. We've got some work to do with Jack. Definitely. Come on then, Jack. 
just saying there off camera, I think Jack's been spending a lot of his time, just be careful at cameras. Jack's been spending a lot of his time on driving range, obviously two full shots. And you, honestly, for yeah. a high handicapper, you're really a good ball. You're yeah. really a long way. But we've really got to focus on this short game. Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't see there, guys, but the, the pitching wedge that you hit when you got yourself in a bad line must have flown the green by about 30 yards. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the length of your swing and the speed of your swing for, it, for a nine iron shot, it was like you were hitting a driver. Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of people relate to that as newer golfers, and that's where you've got to improve. So get teed off, and then we're going to have a look at like club speed and, and length of swing and how they relate to each other. For you newer golfers out there that are struggling to control distance, you know, the first steps really to, to improving your distance control. Look at that. That's incredible. For a new golfer, you know, yeah. it's perfect. About 135. 135, he's got a laser, he's got a GPS, and he was just about to hit it without checking distance. Old gear, no idea there. Eh? 135, what club are you hitting? A nine iron. Look at that flag, look at the way it's blowing left to right. Where would where do you not want to finish here? What's the worst place you could finish with that pin where it is? Long. Long, excellent. You don't want to be long, it's a back pin. You don't want to be left either because it's sloping from left to right. So if you're going to miss this one, Jack, you want to be missing it, you know, front to middle of the green. And maybe starting the ball at the flag and accepting that the wind's going to drift it to the, you know, sort of middle to right half the green. But don't be too greedy here. I'm looking at you because I'm hoping you're listening as well. <laughs> Well, you've done what we said. You've missed it pin eye and he's missed it to the right, so it's actually a good miss. Yeah. You know, a lot of people might be disappointed with that, but they, they don't realise they've left themselves in a position where it's not too hard to get up and down. So he's missed it in a perfect spot here, actually. Have a couple of practice strokes, try and get a feel for the way to put. a bit too much for me but it's not too bad it's not too bad at all could be a par yeah now if i was you i'd be marking that i'd be cleaning it and taking your time because that's as important as that 250 yard drive you've just did i possibly wouldn't have but for a higher handicapper i don't mind that because it's a very safe shot to play and it's one that if you'd have got it wrong you were still going to be within sort of probably five or six feet, you know. I mean, that's, that's also based on it's, it's chipping, it's not, I mean, his touch is not great with chipping. Yeah, I mean, I, I well was, done. I it that's a par. Yeah, and I think you've got to play, you're right what you're saying, you've got to play to your strengths, yeah. you know, and, and for Rob, actually, his, his chipping's his strength, so I don't think he'd ever think about even putting it, but uh, I don't mind seeing that. Played his shocks, I need to see ball flight. Right, so we've got a par four up the hill. Oh, what a shot again. That is really your go-to club, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. How many people have a go-to club? No, not the driver, yeah. Now, how far have you got to that front edge at green, do you think? Probably about 60, 70 yard. 60, 70 yard. Well, you know, and these subscribers know how bad your distance measurement is. Yeah. And we saw that, I'll tag the video, when you thought that was six foot. <laughs> yeah. So get you, dis you've got 500 pounds for distance <laughs> measurers here. <laughs> you can't be guessing, Jack, because this is a critical part of your game, you know. This yeah. is... Your scoring area again. I know I've been a bit tough on you, but you spent a lot of money on your gear and you're not using it. Seven to one. To flag? Yeah. So you've probably got 
probably about 60 to front at green then. It's a two tier green, which slopes from back to front. We've got a bunker on the right at the front as well, haven't we? Yeah. So we need to make sure that whatever club you hit goes at least 65 yards. So if you do push it, you're not going to be in that front bunker. So how f you want to be aiming 70 to hit it 70 yards yeah. and you know not short of that really. There's a bit of a backstop, you know, you can get away with being a little bit past the flag, but not short. So to get that 80 yards, I reckon we a gap wedge, you would have had to hit it 100%. Yeah. I want you to pull out, go and get a pitching wedge or a, or a nine iron. Get a nine iron, in fact. In fact, no, get an eight iron. Let's get an eight iron. Sorry, guys. Have you got a ball? And I want you to try, I know you've not done this before, but I want you to try and land this ball short of the green. If you can try and land this ball using your hand-eye coordination and your feel, yeah. I want you to try and hit this eight iron so that the ball lands about 15 yards short of the green. All right? Just give it a go. He's never tried this before. And it's something we might have to practice. Have a look. Have a look where you want to land it. And try and use your hand-eye coordination to land that 15 yards short. Well done. Now look at that. Look at the difference. I reckon he's got a birdie put. Definitely. So we'll let you play your second ball, Jack. Seeing as you played that one so well. You want to have a go at birdie? But it's definitely something for you guys to think about, you newer golfers. You haven't got to fly the ball all the way to the hole. You can play a lower lofted club and allow for it to, to land and roll, you know, and it's such an easier shot when you're keeping it lower to the floor and, you know, you're not swinging as hard. It's easy to control that direction. Unlucky. Take your time. Even if you have to stand behind it, don't let these paws slip by. We've got some work to do with Jack, but you know what? I think he could be a Tahid too, because he's got the driver, he's got the distance and the power. We yeah. just need to rein in, give him some skills to, you know, get around a golf course. But I think there's a lot of potential in there with Jack. So, you know, I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. And uh, we'll keep these videos coming and uh, try and help Jack along. And, yeah. and let's see if we get you into mid-handicap golfer. That'll be good, that. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.